The most important thing is to try to avoid an avalanche in the first place, but even if you're well prepared, have checked the avalanche forecast, and keep a close eye on the weather, there's always a certain residual risk. Professional equipment is therefore essential. What can you do in the event of an avalanche? Wear a helmet and back protector to protect yourself from injury. However, the most important thing is that you do not become trapped under the avalanche. You must stay on top. Because once you're buried, the clock is ticking. After the first 15 minutes, your chances of survival fall dramatically. You must therefore do everything you can to remain on the surface. How is that possible? An avalanche acts like your breakfast cereal. When shaken, the largest nuts always rise to the top of the pack. In order that you too remain on top of the avalanche, it is necessary to increase your volume and surface area. Pulling the activation handle instantly inflates two airbags with a total volume of 170 liters, creating a wide contact surface in combination with the body. The ideal emergency avalanche equipment therefore consists of a shovel, probe, avalanche transceiver, and ABS system. ABS avalanche airbags are simple to operate. Familiarize yourself with the system so that every move is correct in the event of an emergency. This is the base unit. It is TUF and CE certified and contains all the necessary components for the ABS system. A piercing unit, two airbags, each with a fill and outlet valve, and a trigger mechanism with a coupler for the activation handle. First, you must weigh the cartridge without the cap. This is because every cartridge has a unique weight. You can therefore check if it is completely full. There are three different cartridges, a steel cartridge for Europe, a carbon cartridge for Europe, and a steel cartridge for North America. Then screw in the cartridge until it is engaged. Finally, fix it in place using the safety strap. You can now easily attach the zip-on to the base unit using the zip. Now I'm going to show you how to put on the backpack properly. Fix the leg strap to the hip strap. Fasten and tighten the metal buckle. Tighten the shoulder straps so that the main weight sits on the hips and fasten the chest strap. It is important that the avalanche airbag remains attached to the body in the event of an emergency. To attach the activation handle, open the Velcro fastener and fold back the protective flap. Align the handle and push it in. The coupler will engage automatically. Warning, never attach the handle before the cartridge is screwed in. To remove the activation handle, open the Velcro fastening, fold back the flap and push the coupler in. The handle comes off automatically. Then secure the activation handle using the Velcro fastener. You can adjust the height of the handle plate. The correct position is between the shoulder and chest. This is not possible with all partner models. Before going off pissed, you must open the Velcro fastener and attach it behind the activation handle. You're now ready to go and can perform a test activation. The filling time for the twin bags is about 2 to 3 seconds. In a real avalanche situation, you will of course only remove the backpack when there is no longer any risk of avalanches at all. To deflate, reach under the webbing, lift the red cover, and press the red outlet valve until there is no more air in the airbags. Lay the twin bags down with the valve facing the ground. Fold the upper part of the airbag to the level of the airbag compartment, then fold the bottom part of the airbag. The airbag width is now the same as the airbag compartment width. Fold one hand width of the airbag towards the backpack. It is important that the red valve is at the top and not wrapped up in the material at the end. Push the airbag into the airbag compartment and close the Velcro fastener. The cartridge and activation handle must be replaced after every activation. It is always best to do this immediately. The cartridge on your left has a hole and is empty, the other is full. The activation handle is also refillable and must be replaced. The activation handle with the red band has been used. The other is new and full. 
screw in the new full cartridge until it engages and fix it in place using the safety strap. Pack the new activation handle in the corresponding compartment on the hip strap, and your ABS twin bag is ready to use again. The three phases of an avalanche. The speed of an avalanche from the trigger point is tremendous. Areas of slope more than 50 meters wide can break off. There is very little time to react quickly and correctly. Every second counts. Pyrotechnic pneumatic activation means that your ABS twin bags are instantly inflated with a total volume of 170 liters. Even if one airbag is damaged, the other retains a sufficient amount of air. The linear triggering of avalanches means that large amounts of snow fall at a tremendous speed. Volume alone is not enough to remain on the surface. ABS twin bags optimize the relationship between volume and surface area. The lateral position of the airbags stabilizes your body and gives you a clear view and full freedom of movement for your attempt to escape, which is the recommended course of action. You can also assist the effect of the airbags by making swimming motions and pushing yourself away from obstacles. Whether the avalanche victim is buried, partially buried, or not buried is decided in the crucial halt and solidifying phase. ABS twin bags have been optimized to avoid the dangerous anchor effect in this phase. Thanks to ABS, your body assumes a horizontal position on top of the avalanche. The risk of burial and injury is therefore reduced. ABS saves lives. Several hundred people have survived avalanches using ABS airbags, in most cases without injury. Please read the printed instructions carefully before using your ABS system.